welcome. Thank you for visiting my channel. Are you staying safe? If you are here for the first time, my name is Rochelle and my brand is Affiliate Marketing on YouTube. Are you looking for the easiest, quickest, and most cost-efficient way to create and grow an affiliate business online? Not sure what program to join, not sure what products to promote, or are you just looking? In this video, I show you how to use your logo that you have already created to create your site icon and your gravatar. How to download to your computer from Canva and then upload to your media in your dashboard of your WordPress site. I apologize in advance that these two videos have been longer than usual, but there is an enormous amount of information that I am sharing. So stick around. I give you just the facts. Let's get down to business. Canva.com where you created your design for your logo. Click create design. Custom dimensions. 512 by 512 pixels. Create your design. Site icon 512 by 512 is the standard size. Now you can use a template if you choose, but this video I am showing you the easiest way possible to make your site icon. So let us start with your design, your logo design that you've already created. Find your logo design. To watch the video on creating your logo, your logo look up to your right inside the thumbnail. Box. You can then once you have all your elements inside your box, you can start moving your elements around. You can change the colors. And this is what I did was I just made them bigger because when you are creating your site icon, this is what is going to show up on the corner of the tab. Like for instance, right here and right here, those are two site icons. This is the share a sale site icon. This is another website's site icon. So you want to use color but you don't want to use a lot of white because if you use a lot of white it will blend in with the tab so you don't want to do that so what I do is I'm just using the elements that I created from my logo to show you these are the elements that I created from the logo that I made to watch the first video on creating your logo, look up to the right thumbnail. Make it colorful and have it to stand out so that when it appears on the corner, like for instance up here, when it appears on the corner, that this is your site identity. And sometimes when you want your mouse to move faster, or you want your computer to move faster, you only make it freeze. So it's better just to let it go, let it do its This is a replay of how the site icon was created from the logo. Change the colors. Ch 
change the size. Move the elements around. Be creative. Make it colorful. Make it stand out. If a person is going to remember one thing when they visit your website, it is going to be your site icon. Make it stand out. You see, you've now created a logo, you've created your site icon. You're going to download it. You can see what it's going to look like in the corner of the tab. And then download. So the next thing that you are going to do is you are going to go back to your home and you are going to create a new design with custom dimensions of 80 by 80. The last design you created for the site icon was 512 by 512. Now you're going to go into your upload, or sorry, you're going to go into your folders and into all your designs. Choose the one that you created for your site icon now here is where you can make a decision you can put for your gravatar this is creating a gravatar now this is 80 by 80 for your gravatar now a gravatar is and I think I have the information here your gravatar is an image that follows you from site to site appearing beside your name when you do things like comment or post on a blog. And it helps to identify your brand online. Okay, so. If this is how you want to be seen as when you are posting or you're leaving a comment, that is up to you. But what I do is I will add a new page. And this way you can decide which, what you are going to like best. I'm just going to put this information down there. And this information down here. leave that and then I'm going to find an upload of a picture that I use for my gravatar.
and you can actually create a photo picture very easily or you can upload one. So now you would go back into your elements and this is where you would use a You can also create an avatar. It is your choice. If you are putting a picture of yourself, it's good to, to do it in a frame. You would choose the frame that you would like to use. For me, I chose this one here. You would then put your picture in you would then go and into your elements again and get a square shape that's if you wanted to do that you don't have to do that you can just go into your text and you can add a little bit of subtext or what I do is Sometimes I just use the text that I already have and I just fit it to the picture. And of course you can make your picture bigger or smaller depending on what the size that you want. And if you make a mistake like what I just did. Click the undo so that you can get your design back. And you can always add to a text box. If your computer isn't working with you, just add to an already text box that's there. You just have to do it the way that you feel that it looks okay. It's one. Do not get frustrated if your mouse is not working with you. And then download. Okay, so you will notice that I have now all of my, I have my site icon, I have my logo, and I have my gravatar. Now the easiest way that I have found to add these images to your website is to go through your media. To your media, click media, add new, select files, you will see drop files to upload. So you're gonna to go to the last one that you did, show in the folder, you're gonna drop your file in. And you will see your file is now dropped in. And then you go to your second one, show in the folder, do the same thing, you drop it in. And then you go to the third one, show in the folder. And you drop it in. Congratulations. You now have your gravatar, your site icon, and your logo.
Customize Header. And this is where I said that where you have your site identity. Change logo. Here is my logo. My alt text is going to say logo. Logo one stop gift shop. And 2020 is already one stop gift shop. Now because this is your site identity, you want to make sure you put the right information in here. You need to fill out these boxes. Select. It will ask you if you want to crop your image and it will show you how you can crop it. You can actually You could skip the cropping or you can crop your image. Okay, so now it has changed the logo. There is. You can also change your logo width. You go is 600 pixels. The logo there now. And you can now change your image to your site icon. And this is the site icon right there. And you can see it's 512 by 512 pixels. And I normally would put more information, but I don't want to take up your time. And then select. This is now the new site icon right there. And then you would click publish. You just click howdy admin and edit your profile profile picture you can change your profile picture on gravatar so if you're going to click change and create an account with gravatar it will help you in your affiliate marketing business it'll help you for brand awareness And it shows you what is Gravatar, how to use Gravatar. I'm just going to click sign in. So I can read that. Add a new image. Upload new. Show in folder and drop your file in. So it says here, crop your photo using the dotted box, okay, so actually that's fine. And then let's just go crop.
rating and because it's suitable for display on all websites with any audience type. You don't want to have it any higher than that. And then go back to your WordPress. In the next video, we will be going into the Howdy Admin Edit My Profile. This, this is where you can decide if you want to use code or use the visual editor. I would suggest you, you, you don't disable the visual editor. You can also uh, disable the syntax highlighting when editing code. That's if you're using code. And you can use any one of these color schemes whatever you like to to be looking at. Okay, so you have a little bit of homework here. Okay? I'm going to pull up a notepad. The next video I'm just going to make a new window here. Okay, so the next video coming out will be filling in this information and I'm going to leave this in the description of this video. Your Facebook, your Instagram, your LinkedIn, your Pinterest, your Tumblr. If you have MySpace and if you have your Twitter and your YouTube. I am going to leave this in the uh, description uh, with a link to all of these places for you to go to create these accounts because this is necessary for you to be able to start creating your brand and starting to grow your brand online. Oh, and also, about yourself. I'm also going to put that in there. They say biographical. You can put whatever information that you want, whatever you want people to know. But I am going to be going over it. Your profile picture, which is the Gravatar. Do you have Yoast uploaded or do you have the plugin uploaded? If not, upload your Yoast plugin. We use all of these in this video. Thank you very much for watching this video. And if you have found it helpful to you, then please give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, then please subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you are notified of all new videos that I am posting. Stay safe, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.